What's up everyone, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Dark Parables Portrait of the Stained Princess for the PC. Chapter 3. What's her name? Tried to come out of the painting and attack me, but then she jumped back in it. What's her portrait? Okay, it looks like someone like slashed it or something. Whoops. Painting case token. Poor burb. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Must be the world's smallest violin or fiddle. Get blocked by a something. Drawing room door is open. To the drawing room. <clears throat> Seems as though someone was trying to replicate the princess's portrait. Need some kind of token to open the painting case. Okay, I got a bladder going that way. The princess is now able to talk. After I mended her face, I discovered she is not terrifying at all. Sure seems terrifying to me. Oh, excuse me, palette knife. King's lie brought about the curse. That spider's coming out of that? Oof. Perhaps I can pry it out with something. Crown gems. Okay, so I'm just got a crown gem. Complete sword key. Why is it incomplete? Lacks of decoration. I like that thing that I just picked up a while ago. I can explore the atrium, but the drawing room is sealed shut. To the atrium. Here's a little rascal. Der. Okay, okay. Symbol of royalty. A frog. Model X. 
The statue's head is overgrown with algae. Need to return to sword to open the door. If I did a something. Wooden sword blade? There is no time left. If I don't remove my curse before the blood moon rises over the islet rock, all will be lost. There's like another page from the princess's diary. <clears throat> Prince, ooh. Prince de Fiacre, I guess, of Estadia arrived at Cisneros in search of the cure for his ailment, the water of life. Drawn to his traveling wagon by his beautiful fiddling, Princess. Uh, ooh. Princess. Uh, Fionuala? Fionuala? Princess Fiona became fascinated with this mysterious, vulnerable boy. The children became inseparable, their friendship slowly blossoming into love. say he left the princess with the promise to return or something and see what it said years later Fiacra's envoy came asking for the hand of the princess not eager to marry his daughter to the heir of the realm of darkness realm of darkness the king said that she was disfigured corroborating the lie with a forced portrait Undeterred by Fiona's affliction, Fiacra came to the Cisneros court disguised as a traveling fiddler. When he discovered the deceit, he was so hurt his love was cast aside that he banished the princess into her distorted portrait until she found the water of life. Wait, so because the king was being a jerk. Manage your fiddle. <clears throat> Parable set found the ugly duckling. Once there was a prince of darkness with a duckling for a companion. The prince was too young to understand where the duckling came from. It was natural for him to be with his duckling wherever he went. They have always been together since the day they were, <clears throat> the day they were born. the prince's home, there were other ferocious birds that belonged to the prince brothers. The other birds perceived the little duckling as a weak creature, and she suffered verbal and physical abuse from them. Every time the prince tried to protect the duckling, his brothers teased him mercilessly. How pathetic. A weak master with a weak heart deserves a weak guardian. Better hide yourself in darkness. You have both disgraced us. Both the prince and the duckling led a mournful existence. One day, the prince, was found, the prince found out he was sick. He set off into the world to find the cure for his illness. Soon, he found himself in a beautiful kingdom filled with light and was delighted with everything he saw. Even when he was inside his wagon, he could feel the atmosphere outside, which was joyful. <clears throat> Though he wanted to join the people outside, he could not, for the light burned him. People were always afraid of him. One day, as the dawn arrived, the prince left his wagon with his duckling. He could not bear a life of solitude any longer. He yearned for the light, even though the light rejected him. Even the shimmers of light at night did not accept him. He played sorrowful music with his fiddle, finally deciding to throw himself at the sunlight. He thought that even if the light burned him, anything would be better than to live a life of ugliness and darkness. 
A princess who was of similar age approached the prince. She said, You play such wonderful music, and your duckling is so beautiful. Would you like to play with me? Is that how it... No, I thought... See, I, I'm... I don't know. Guess I gotta come back with a thing for that. I got that. Where was... Is it here? Yes. So can I... This one. There we go. Got this thing. Tower key. The day the princess was cursed for betraying her promise. But it was the king that was kind of being a joke. to the tower. Symbol of Estadia is missing its frame. Uh, it reads Realm of Darkness, Dreams and Death. Sister Rose Crown. It reads a place which cannot be found by outsiders at the end of the world. Something needed a crown, I'm trying to remember where that was at. Oh, here we go. Emblem frame. Another page from Siegfried's Diaries. Obviously, he knew more about the princess's curse than he was letting on. I see the princess gaze upon the islet rock with a mournful sigh. The blood moon is on the rise. I know she wishes she could leave the canvas one more time. Steel brush. This asshole looks like the one in the Great Hall. I think that's for this. 
Great gem. So now he can be truly outrageous. Assemble the princess's portrait. Select a puzzle piece and place it in the correct position on the board. Or at least they're kind of sort of shaped. Alita, the Amazing Duckling. I guess? Farewell, Princess. I leave Alita with you. She will be your companion. It will be as if I'm still with you. I will find the water of life, no matter what hardship I must suffer through. We will meet again. Must be the Princess Farewell letter to Princess Fiona. I know it's not Fiona, but I don't know how to pronounce that name. Sewing kit. you, detective. I can barely gather the strength to talk. By now, it must be clear to you how dire my situation is. I know there's so much to explain right now, but please, you must bring me to the castle keep. There's something there I must show you. grateful for your kindness, both for repairing my portrait and listening to my words. However, I'm afraid we're running out of time, so I can't explain everything right now. You've already seen the Blood Moon. If it rises above the islet rock before I manage to find the Water of Life, the world as we know it will cease to exist. You see, the eternal darkness shall devour everything. I'm so close to finding the solution. I just need you to take my place. Who the hell are you? And whoops. I have to find a way to warm myself before I freeze to death. And there we go, the end of chapter three. I right, come back, I start chapter four. I need to get warm, I guess, at this little mini mansion looking place or something or another. I'm currently at the River Fork. So I'll go ahead and just take care of that next time. So until then, this is Save Knight on Let's Play Dark Parables Portrait of the Stained Princess. Later, guys. <laughs>